Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the Pico scarf and cowl. The pattern includes child and adult sizes, and you can easily adjust the length and width to make yours any size you'd like. I'll be making this adult cowl in today's video, but you can follow along no matter what size you're making. You can see the beautiful texture here, and it matches all my other Pico patterns. If you're unfamiliar with those and enjoy this design, check out my Pico playlist here on my YouTube channel for more amazing patterns. Here is the scarf, and it can be left as a straight piece, or you can make it into an infinity scarf. For the scarf, I used the printed I Love This Yarn in the color Suede Shoes, and for the cowl, I made mine two-toned and used I Love This Yarn in the colors Sun Gold and Ivory Tweed. Feel free to use as many or as few colors as you'd like. Now let's head over to our size chart and supply list and see what we need. We're going to begin with a foundation half double crochet row, which is essentially working your foundation chain and your first row of half double crochets together. So to begin, I have a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to chain two. Then yarn over and insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, which is the first chain that we worked. Pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through the first loop on your hook and that's going to create the foundation chain. So you're going to want to remember where that is because we're going to work the next stitch into it. So remember where that is. Feel free to put a stitch marker in it if you want. So now we're going to finish our half double crochet by yarning over and pulling through all three loops on our hook. So there is our half double crochet and there at the bottom is our foundation chain. So now we're going to be working back into that chain we just created. So yarn over and insert your hook into that foundation chain, making sure you're going through both the loops there on the bottom. And you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first loop on your hook and that's going to create that chain again. So again, remember where this one is because we're going to work the next stitch into it. So now to finish off our stitch, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. So there we have two foundation half double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook into the last chain that we created, making sure you're going through both loops there at the bottom. Then yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first loop on your hook that creates the next chain yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook and there's our half double crochet so there we have three foundation half double crochets so we're just going to repeat that all the way across until you reach as many stitches as your size needs so I'll go through it one more time with you yarn over insert your hook into the chain at the bottom yarn over pull through the first loop on your hook there's our chain then yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. There's our half double crochet. So we're just going to keep repeating that across until we reach as many stitches as your size needs. Now, if you would rather just work a regular foundation chain and a row of half double crochets, feel free to do so. You'll just want to work one more chain than the number of stitches that you need for your size. And then when you reach the end of your chain, you're going to work one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook and then work a half double crochet in each chain across. So I'm just going to continue on and then I'll catch back up with you guys when I reach the end of row one. I'm just coming up to the end of row one. So I'm all done my foundation half double crochet row and this is what it's looking like. And now I'm going to chain one and turn. Now working back the way we came for row two, we are going to single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch across. So if you look at your stitches from the top, you'll see that there is a front loop which is closest to you and then the back loop is furthest from you so we're going to just work a regular single crochet but only work in that back loop only so starting in that very first stitch working in the back loop only we're going to work a single crochet so insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops on your hook so we're just going to repeat that all the way across for row two. 
So single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch across. So I'm just coming up to the end of row two, and this is what we're looking like. So you can see by working in the back loop only, it created that ribbing across. So now we're gonna chain one and turn. And now we're on to row three, and row three is where we're gonna begin our Pico single crochet stitches. So those are like those little mini bobble stitches. So we're gonna start by working a single crochet in the first stitch. So working in both the loops, just a regular single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna work a Pico single crochet. So insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over it and pull through the first loop on your hook yarn over pull through the first loop on your hook again and yarn over pull through the first loop on your hook again so there we created a little chain three then we're going to yarn over pull through both loops on your hook push that chain three back and then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch so there you can see that little pico single crochet bumping out the back so that back side is actually going to be the front side, the right side of our cowl and our scarf. So now for the rest of the row, we're just going to repeat working a pico single crochet into the next stitch and then a single crochet into the next stitch. So for a pico single crochet, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull the, through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook, push that chain three back and then single crochet into the next stitch. So just repeat that all the way across for row three, pico so single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. I'm just coming up to the end of row three. And at the end of the row, I'm gonna chain one and turn. There you can see all the texture from that ribbing and our Pico single crochets. So this is the right side of our cowl and our scarf. You can see all the texture on that side. And now we're onto row four. And for row four, we are just going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. So since those Pico single crochet stitches are there, it might be hard to see the stitches. So you can kind of just bend them forward to see behind them. And then the other, um, there's gonna be a stitch beside the Pico single crochet and then behind them. So you can kind of move them around to get them out of your way. If your Pico single crochet stitches um, get pushed in, you can just pick them out with your fingers to get them to bump out again. So for row four, we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. I'm just coming up to the end of row four. And this is what we're looking like so far. I'm gonna chain one and turn. Now onto row five. And for row five, we're just going to work one half double crochet into each stitch across. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. So we're just gonna repeat bringing one half double crochet into each stitch across. I'm just coming up to the end of row five. Chain one and turn. And now on to row six. For row six, we're just going to single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch across. So again, when you look at your stitches from above, 
the loop furthest away from you is the back loop so we're just going to work a regular single crochet but working in the back loop only so just repeat that all the way across row six single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch across So I'm just coming up to the end of row six. This is what we're looking like so far. And now for the rest of the pattern, we're just gonna repeat the last four rows. So we're just gonna keep repeating rows three to six until you reach your desired width. So if the pattern is for the kid sizes, you're gonna work a total of 18 rows. And for the adult sizes, you're gonna work a total of 26 rows. But you can adjust that and just keep repeating rows three to six as many times as you want until you reach your desired width. So to recap for row three, we're gonna work our single crochet into the first stitch and then our pico single crochet into the next. For the next row, we're gonna work single crochets all the way across, then half double crochets across for the next one, and then single crochets in the back loop only for the next one. So just keep repeating that until you reach your desired width. And then I'm gonna stop halfway through to change the colors on mine. So if you wanna see how I change colors, you can meet back up with me there. If not, just keep repeating until the end. And then I will show you how to finish up your cowl or your scarf. So just keep repeating rows three to six and I'll meet back up with you guys when I get halfway through. So I'm just coming up to the end of row 13, which is the halfway point for the adult size. So I'm gonna start my stitch as normal. So I'm working a half double crochet. So instead of doing that final pull through with my normal color, I'm gonna pick up my new color and do the final pull through with the new color. And then I'm gonna chain one, and then just keep repeating the pattern as normal with the new color. So this is a really great way to have a seamless color change. So now I'm going to cut off my old color, making sure to leave a few inches enough that I can weave it in after. And then I'm going to tie it together with the short end of my new color, just so those don't unravel. And then when I'm all done making my cowl, I'll come back and weave those ends in. But that's how you do a color change. You can do your color change at any point. The halfway point for the child size is at the end of row 9, and then for the adult size, it's at the end of row 13. But you can also do this technique if you're doing stripes or anything else. So I'm just going to continue on uh, repeating rows 3 to 6 until I reach the end. So I'm going to catch back up with you guys when I reach the end of my cowl. So I'm just coming up to the end of my last row. And there we go. There is my cowl. Now, if you're just wanting to make a scarf that's long and um, like one straight piece, then you can tie off your yarn and weave in your ends. But for my cowl, and if you're making an infinity scarf, we are going to attach the two short ends together. So I'm gonna cut off my yarn, leaving a tail end that's about two and a half um, times the width, so the short end there. And then I'm gonna pull through with my hook and secure that knot. Then I'm going to fold it in half, bringing the two short ends together and having the right side facing in and the wrong side facing out. And then we're going to whip stitch the two short ends together. So I'm going to grab my yarn needle. And then to whip stitch. I'm going to make sure that my um, both sides are evenly placed together. And then I'm going to go through the front, grabbing just the edge of the stitches, and then out through the back on the other side. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way across. So through the front and out to the back trying to keep your cowl or your scarf lined up as best as you can. And I'm just grabbing the outside of the stitches. And I'm just gonna repeat that all the way across. And since I made my cowl two-tone, when I reach that halfway point, I'm going to attach a strand of the yellow yarn so that it will blend in. So I'm just gonna change colors here so that I'll blend in. If you're just using one color, then you can just continue all the way across. If you did stripes, then you may want to change colors for each stripe, but it's up to you. Okay. 
Once you reach the end, you can secure your yarn with a knot. I have the tail end from the beginning there, so I'm just gonna tie those two ends together. And you can see I have quite a few ends left over, so now I'm just going to take my yarn needle and weave in all of my ends. So I'm done weaving in all my ends now. So you can flip your cowl or your scarf right way out. And there we go. We are done our Pico scarf and cowl. Thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find the free written pattern on my blog. I'll leave a link to that down below. You can also check out the ad-free, easy to print PDF version in my Etsy shop and on Ravelry. I'd love to see your finished creation, so be sure to tag me in your photos on Instagram. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.